Colin, tell me, what made you reach out for me? Why, what were you suffering? What did you need help with? Well, I've been suffering with nerve pain following a car accident for, a, must be 30 years at least now. I can't remember exactly what date it was. It's just, you know, so long ago. Um, but I had periods of time where I was just literally totally incapacitated for a day with the, the pain. Um, so I literally would go and lay down for, a, for an hour. I couldn't work. Um, I'd be just in, in total, a total mess. There were days when I couldn't sleep. Um, I have completely sleepless nights, so having to keep a full-time job going, it was really, really difficult. Um, somehow managed to get through, um, and uh, I've virtually had every single drug I think that the NHS could throw at me, uh, the gambolins and the, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so many, I can't remember them all, but uh, I think I'd had virtually all of them. All it did was, um, to be honest, it... it subdued the pain a little bit but after that it was really of no use um all it was doing was in my mind and it was making me i was something in most of the time in the days um so i came off them and you know just had to because i couldn't function at work or anything like that it was just ridiculous um it got so bad that i was taking cocodamols and to be quite honest the cocodamols were keeping me on an even keel, but I'd be taking um, three or four doses of the big prescription ones, um, maybe two or three times a day, and certainly every evening just to get some sleep. Um, I found that um, in 2020, I got to the point where the pain was so bad, uh, it was affecting work. I was 60. I had the opportunity to take early retirement, so I did. Um, probably earlier than I wanted to, but I did. Um, and then I suffered through for, a, 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 I think it was July of 2020, I actually went, reached out to the NHS again um, and was referred to the pain clinic. Um, I didn't actually have any acknowledgement that I existed from them for at least two years. Um, and that was only after I left an email message that if I didn't hear from them um, within five days, then um, I would put a formal written complaint in. Funny enough, they found me an appointment within two days after that. So um, <laughs> it just shows they can do it when they want to. Um, that was um, May of this year. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from them. And we're now in 23. Yes, in 23. Yes, mm -hmm. so I, I had two years where they hadn't even acknowledged me. I managed to get an appointment in May of this year. Um, and I'm still waiting for them to come back to me from that meeting I had in May. So they still have had yeah. no comeback. They were going to do various bits and pieces and things. Now, in between that, I picked up um, after your interview with Richard Vobes on YouTube. <laughs> and um, I was just sitting in the garden having a cup of coffee one morning thinking, I have got to try this because um, I've, I've realized just before then, about a month or two before, that I was purely addicted to cocodamols. So I actually came off them and the withdrawal symptoms were three weeks of hell. Um, I was sitting down here at four o'clock in the morning having tea, just trying to feel tired enough to go back to, um, to bed. The withdrawal symptoms for anyone who's had cocodamol, uh, I was itching, I was aching. It was, I'd literally had the shake. So it was like coming off from what my doctor said, eventually hard, you know, hardcore drugs. Um, and that's, let's say, when I saw Richard's note from you, um, as you remember, I phoned you, we had a talk, um, and your enthusiasm, just the fact that you said you could help me was why I decided to go for the program. Um, I must admit, I've always been slightly skeptical of most things, but I went in with an open mind and I found after a while I started to do what you were telling us to do. And I found that um, sort of meditating was starting to make a little bit of a difference. Just sitting down 10, 15 minutes, just breathing was really making a difference. And when I started to realize how to connect to the pain, which I must admit was the hardest thing to get for me. Um, once I did that, I started to see, or I started to get the results. Um, I've had 
since May, when we started this, four cocodamol, four doses in all of that time. And they are primarily down to me, not so much just getting the normal pain, but me being ridiculous, like digging over the garden with a slightly disabled hand and causing it more muscular distress than anything else. And obviously it's just um, amplified um, by how much it actually hurts. So but normal day-to-day -day so that, living. So that, 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 that was four cocodamol over since May. And then May. how many would have... That's four doses, so eight tablets. And so how many would you have taken before May? Oh, I'd have been having six tablets a day, three doses a day, two in my, on my, in, I wouldn't say absolutely every day, but l literally I'd be having two every single evening. It was almost like you, you, you'd pop them like a sleeping pill because it would get you off to sleep. Yeah. Um, and as I say, the, 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 I hope no one ever has to suffer this because the, 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 the pain I actually do get from this, um, I say it was a pulled nerve throughout my spine from a car crash. Um, but the pain that I get is just excruciating. I mean, it takes your breath away. Um, and um, what I've been finding now is just by using the method that you um, teach has changed my life totally. It's made me far more easy to get along with. Um, <laughs> because you, you do, you lose your temper when you're in pain, you know, and it's, I just right. found it's just changed. It's changed my life totally. Oh, and up. all I would say ah. to anybody is just try it. Just try it. You've got absolutely nothing to lose. Um, as I say, I, 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 I'm so pleased I did. And it's the best thing I've ever done. That's, it's the best money I've ever spent for that. Um, and as I say, one day I'm sure the NHS will get back to me and I can tell them where to stick it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a shame it's like that, but it is. And the problem is, I think, with all of these... Um, with the doctors, they just want to prescribe you a pill. They don't actually want to find that. They want to s stop the pain, but they don't want to find what the root cause is. And I think that was the major thing. We're going through the program. It actually made me sort of reflect on myself and deal with it myself. Yeah, um, and you've got and... this for life now. So it's, it's not, not even just getting rid of something absolutely dreadful and it's changed your life, but you've got this for life now. You know the mechanisms yes. healing. You know the mechanisms that are free if things pop up, if anything else pops up as well. Um, you, yes. You've got something for life. But it's the best money I've ever spent and it's the best thing I've ever done because it, 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 it's, it's made things so much better for me. I don't, I sleep now. You know, I can go to sleep and I don't need tablets to get to sleep. Um, I'm just so I'm so so happy for you, Colin. And this is what this is my uh, my my life passion to to teach you and everybody who is who, need, who wants my help. Um, it's uh, to see the difference in you. And and I hear that a lot that when people are in pain, they just can't be themselves. They you just can't because you know you're taking all the pills. It's going to affect you. You're not sleeping. You know you're going to be a different person when you're pain free. And um, yes. and to hear that you got your life back and um, you know and not knowing anymore, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm but sure it is, you it's made, it's it's made such a difference. I you snap, you're always snapping. You lose your temper, you know, and that's that's the thing. You 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 just snap, and um, I think it's made me a better person to be with for that reason. And and you know that on its own is worth its weight in gold. Um, but yeah, as I say, I just reiterate again, if you're having any doubts, do it. It's the best thing you could ever do. Thank you so much for sharing that, Colin. And um, I really appreciate that. It's, it's all very well me saying something, but when they hear it from other people who've actually done it and have yes. perhaps got, are going through the same things that you've been through, lots of people have damage from operations. It's actually quite common that I come across. So to hear it from you. So I really appreciate you sharing this. So no thank problem. you so much. Thank you so much for giving your time to to talk to share with others and letting me know, you know, how your experience of the of the pay free method. Thank you so much. No problem at all.